welcome to Tainan, Taiwan. Tainan is known as the food capital of Taiwan. And fun fact, it used to be the actual capital of Taiwan until it was switched to Taipei. A lot of the popular Taiwanese street food that we're familiar with today actually originated here in the city. We're going to uncover some of the most traditional Taiwanese street eats here in Tainan. We're actually at our first location. This building right here, 100 years ago, used to be a dental clinic. I know, but now it's transformed into a restaurant that serves one of the most amazing noodles that they have to offer here in Tainan. So let's go eat. Now we're at this restaurant to try something very traditional to Tainan, and that is the Danzai noodle. The history of Danzai noodles goes way, way back, maybe around the Qing Dynasty. That is when a lot of people from China immigrated over to here in Tainan. Tainan used to be the capital of Taiwan, and that's because it was established as a Dutch Formosa port. So it used to be the port of where people would come into Taiwan. That's why so many of Taiwan's food, like Oamisua or the Danzai noodles comes from this capital. It's no longer the capital anymore, but it is still considered the capital of food here in Taiwan. All of these items are very traditional Tainan xiaoci. We're gonna start off with what we came here for, which is the Danzai noodles. So check it out, everyone. Oh, wow, look at those chewy noodles. They're actually quite thick. So if you search online, they will call these noodles oil noodles. And the broth that this is in, this is a pork broth, and the minced pork that you saw in the beginning, that has been simmering for hours. The broth's made of pork bones, it's made of garlic paste, white pepper, there's shrimp in there, and it's just been brewing for a while. Oh yeah, look at all this noodle. Here we go. Oh. These noodles cling onto that soup so well. Mm. Wow. In Taiwan, we have a saying, when something is QQ, it means it's really chewy. And that's what these noodles are. It's really chewy, it's got a nice thickness to it, and it kind of just glides into your mouth. It's just so wonderful. It is really, really tasty, you guys. This is a wonderful Danzai noodle. Oh yeah. This is a pretty darn good bowl. Back then, street food or local eats, or in Chinese we call it xiaozi, they weren't eaten at a stall or a restaurant. People walked around, and they called them hawkers. People walked around selling things. And they used to sell food by balancing these bamboo sticks. So they balance these large bamboo sticks, and on both ends they have baskets. And the baskets have all the ingredients and all the food items that they were then sold. So then bamboo stick was called danzai, which is why these noodles that we're trying today is called danzai noodles. There you go! History! <laughs> This right here is actually quite traditional and you'll see it in a lot of Tainan shops. These are fried shrimp rolls. These are very similar to Japanese tempura. They have a nice crisp on the outside and the inside is a nice seafood filling. Let's take a bite! Oh. Mm. They definitely put chunks of celery in there so you get a punch of that celery taste, a little bit of uh, that raw vegetable taste. But then you're immediately greeted by the softness of the shrimp filling. Right, good. It is so crispy and also flicky at the same time. It's just... Mm. It's so good. I have never tried this before. This is my first time trying it with you guys. I'm very excited. When I saw it on the menu, I knew I had to order it because of its shape. It's shaped like a little rice flour. Look at that. But you know there's some good feeling inside. We're just going to take a bite and see what this is all about. Mm. Smokes. Hold on, sorry, I gotta take another bite. Mm. I love it when something is so unexpectedly delicious. I did not expect that. The outer layer I thought was going to be really thick and gelatinous, and I thought it would have hardened up by the time we you know get to eating after filming. But wow, that was soft and chewy and actually very refreshing. It was like biting into a meaty jello. It was delicious. And this nice sweet sauce right here, 
I could just drink the sauce. Oh mm, my gosh. Last but not least, taro cake. Now this is a savory taro cake. I've never had anything like this before, but it looks pretty darn good. I can see that there's that thick soy sauce um, that was on the previous dish. Mm, I love the taste of that. It's got very similar texture to sticky rice. Uh, so hopefully, maybe it'll taste like that. Taro is supposed to be sweet. I'm kind of curious. Mm. Mm. This is very interesting. When you eat sticky rice, you can still kind of feel the grain of the rice on your, your tongue. When you bite into this, it's almost just a big giant mush. Um, almost got a mashed potato texture to it. Like if you put mashed potato in the freezer so it's a little bit hardened, that's what it tastes like. And it's very light flavor. I think most of the flavor comes from this sauce. I think you eat it for that sticky, gooey texture. Yep. Yep. It's definitely steamed. Um, so it's got a lot of chew and jiggliness to it. It's quite good. I can see how this is both a savory snack and a dessert at the same time. our noodle tour here. The Tanzai noodle looked amazing and I'm excited to introduce you guys to this one because when he was stir frying it, that looked so awesome. So this in front of me is their very, very special eel noodles. That's right. Say what? So most people are familiar with eel because when you eat Japanese food, uh, you have eel on your sushi or on like a eel bowl with rice, right? This type of eel is a little bit different um, check it out. I know it doesn't look as appetizing because yield and kind of even in, in its raw and cooked form It's not the most appetizing meat. However, and I'm crossing my finger I'm hoping it will taste good. Now this particular shop is more of a local shop I think youtubers and bloggers do review this one eel noodle shop and I'll also link it in the description because I want you guys to experience it as well. That one has more of like a rugged feel with the layout of the eel in the front. This one we just found, it's kind of like a little local gem. So hopefully it's gonna be good. By the way you guys, that's our trash truck. Do you wanna show them our trash truck? So our trash truck, it comes at a certain time of the day. Uh, this one is great because this one still pauses. Sometimes these trash trucks, they don't stop. So you see the locals running with their trash bags and they're kind of like hurling it, almost like an Olympian game. <laughs> so this one is nice because it's pausing for them. Anyways, I'm gonna wait till it passes and it will continue. So this type of noodle is actually fried beforehand. It's not as chewy, but that's actually the appeal of these noodles. So I'm going to try this one. This one is stir fried with the eel. We're gonna see what it tastes like. A little bit of pepper in there and oh, wow that's got an amazing kick you guys there's a sweetness to this noodles it's very sweet it almost tastes like sweet teriyaki sauce um, that they kind of stir fry it with and a pair with that spicy kick it's got a nice sweet and spicy taste to it I'm digging it I'm digging it let's take more bites mm. oh, yum. I can get down with this now of course the star of the show is the eel, so let's take a bite of the eel. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, so this glossy skin on the outside, it actually makes the overall bite very, very chewy. Mm. It almost tastes kind of like cartilage or like tripe. I don't know if I'm like a, hell yeah, I love eel in my noodles. But I do appreciate the overall flavor and I do appreciate the texture. I think there is a texture to eel that makes it really favored by the locals. It's a chewy but also flaky in some parts, very kiwi. You guys remember kiwi? What I do love about this dish is are these noodles. Mm. Mm. 
can't go wrong with these noodles. So with this soup one, I'm hoping it provides more moisture for that eel. And then that eel tastes a little bit more, I guess, cooked because it has that layer of thick soup around it. All right, ready? Mmm, oh yeah. I definitely prefer the soup version more because there's like a heat to it. And the soup coats it in a very beautiful manner so that when you chew into it, it just feels very, very fresh. This eel tastes a lot like fresh fish. Let's try some of these noodles. Look at the soup just coating these noodles. It's just hugging onto it. So excited. Mmm. Wow. That's nice. The flavor of both eel noodles is very sweet, so this is definitely more of a sweet noodle dish uh, compared to the tanzan noodles, which was just straight out savory. And this one compared to the other noodle is very, very thick. And I feel like a lot of food in Tainan, they love that creamy, thick texture. There's going to be an item that we're trying in part two of this Tainan tour uh, that has that creamy, thick texture that you see right here. So let's serve some noodles. As opposed to regular noodle soup, where the soup is very watery, this one actually clings to the noodles, so you get so much flavor in one bite. I mean, look at that. Holy smokes. So having tried both noodle dish, I think this is much sweeter than what I'm used to, uh, because I really, really love savory noodles, which is why I love Danzai noodles so much. However, I do appreciate the flavor. It's very interesting. It's very different from other noodle-type dishes that I've tried. The yu has such a unique texture. It's something you got to try for yourself, because it's chewy, but at the same time, it's flaky. It almost tastes a lot like tripe. So, it's interesting. What? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am noodled out for now. That was just some of the noodle dishes that are very traditional to here in Tainan. We're going to continue the food tour, but we're actually going to cut the video here uh, because this is a noodle tour. And the next one, we're going to try more traditional dishes here in Tainan. So be sure to watch part two. And if it's not out yet, be sure to turn on your notification bell, okay? and watch it as soon as it's out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below which of the dishes you guys saw here was your favorite. Actually, I kind of want to know how you guys feel about the eel noodles because I myself, I did not grow up eating the eel noodles. I grew up eating danzai noodles, so the eel noodles a little bit foreign to me. And that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where I got this dope sweatshirt and this dope t-shirt just head to the cup of tj merch store because let's be real you don't want nudes you want nudes thank you see you later come closer come meow <laughs> <laughs>